Uh, hi, Future Derm readers. Uh, it's Nikki Zavola Benvenuti. I'm going to answer a reader question today. Will uh, Ambi Fade Cream help with uh, dark knuckles? Um, so dark knuckles, um, you know, they're a, a problem, you know, often amongst, um, you know, women with, um, you know, darker skin, um, you know, boxers, um, you know, anyone who works with their hands tends to um, sometimes get dark knuckles. Um, you know, the question about Ambi Fade Cream in particular, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, um, Ambi Fade Cream is a very affordable, um, you know, usually, um, like 10 to 14 a tube at the drugstore. Um, fade cream designed um, with a 2 to 4 percent hydroquinone. Um, I know the hydroquinone is very controversial. Um, you know, I personally have, you know, like read a lot of the literature, um, you know, and gone through, um, you know, and I've also, um, you know, spoken to a lot of different experts, whether dermatologists or cosmetic chemists or scientists, um, and I personally um, am okay with using hydroquinone. So the short answer is uh, yes. Um, if you use hydroquinone, for dark knuckles, it will absolutely work. I would recommend, um, you know, the first and most important thing is, um, you know, you want to do like a small patch test on your skin. Just make sure um, the hydroquinone, um, you know, doesn't um, cause like a reflexive, um, like, you know, pigmentation in your skin. Um, you know, sometimes people with darker skin can use hydroquinone and their skin actually can, um, you know, reflexively get darker. Um, so I would be very careful about that. It does, um, you know, occur in less than 1% of people who use it, but I would be very careful. Um, you know, just do a test. Um, um, you know, if I had dark knuckles, I would do it on just a little portion of my pinky finger. Um, you know, try it for three to four days and see if there's any adverse reactions. Um, if not, and for 99% of people, there won't be, uh, continue uh, using it. Um, you know, secondly, um, you know, make sure that you're um, protecting your hands, give them an environment to heal. If you're boxing as your workout, stop. Um, you know, don't excessively rub your knuckles with a towel. Um, don't, you know, harm them with hot, hot water. Um, you know, really like, you know, hydrate them, be very delicate with them, especially while you're using the um, Ambi Fade Cream. Lastly, um, you know, there I would be careful with them um, using benzoyl peroxide. Um, benzoyl peroxide um, and hydroquinone together can actually temporarily stain the skin. So if you're using hydrogen peroxide on your face, um, you know, be careful that you don't get it on your knuckles while you're using the Ambi Fake Cream on your knuckles. Uh, I would be very careful with using hydroquinone with other lightening agents. Um, you know, sometimes, um, you know, cases of that reflexive skin pigmentation um, occur whenever you're mixing agents with hydroquinone. So I would be very careful of that. Um, however, you know, as controversial as the ingredient seems online, um, I am personally still a fan of it. Um, I've used it multiple times in the past. Um, you know, whenever I've had, um, you know, certain, um, you know, age spots and things like that. So um, I do highly recommend it. It's just be sure you test it first. Um, this is Nikki Zavola Benvenuti for Future Derm, and uh, thank you.